Um, so first of all, let me say I'm sitting right here with Hank. You know what I mean, uh, and he seen me at my worst because today has been the let me fix this shit. Today has been the absolute worst day ever um, in New York City. And I'm gonna just start off by saying like, on my mother and father, everything I'm about to say is true. Everything I'm about to say is true. Um, so I'm staying up here with my man Hank for the next two weeks until certain things settle in Philly. And that already was very 2020 because I was supposed to move into a spot in the beginning of September and I didn't. So I'm pretty much like on the run. Been hotel hopping, moving through Airbnbs, uh, getting to shenanigans uh, for like the last two weeks. Up here for a little bit, just chilling. And this morning, I woke up around 6, 6.30. I look outside and I see my bike and anybody who knows me knows like how much I love my damn bike. Uh, it's fine, it's outside, it's hooked up to a scaffolding thing and it was locked with my U-lock, which is unbreakable. So I'm like, I'm good. Start getting some work done on the computer, do a little bit of reading. I know that was very basic to mention, but it is what it is. And around like 9.30, uh, I get ready to go work out and I put on my clothes, I look outside and um, somebody stole my bike. Some crafty, like, I don't know who's walking around with these tools, but some crafty individual actually unscrewed the bolts on the scaffolding uh, construction site and then slid my bike with the U-lock off of it. And this must have been a tall individual because um, my bike isn't exactly for short folk. And to give a reference, if you're not like 5'10 and up, you're gonna have a difficult time even getting on it. And because the seat's raised so high, if you're like, uh, if you ain't 6'9", you're not getting on it. So it's just, the bike was, was really for me. And I'm holding back tears right now, cause like, it's funny, but it's not. Cause I really love that bike. But yeah, somebody got me. I got got. I, I was a lick. If you are not the hitter, you are the lick. Um, filed a police report, which is wild in itself in 2020. I'm not going to lie. I'm sitting in a precinct like, what am I doing here? All the ways I could have ended up in a precinct, I did not think it would be me bitching about my bike. Uh, I actually ended up talking to a detective, which was also hilarious because we were like in a padded room like law and order style padded room interrogation room and he's sitting there writing down my description of my bike uh, i'm gonna just say this now obviously i know not like the world is gonna see this this is gonna be like shown on cnn but if the individual who did steal my bike somehow ever sees this which will probably be after i catch up to him and whoop that ass uh congrats Congrats that I, I was slipping and you caught me. Thank you. Um, so yeah, I, I pretty much spent all day going up and down Canal Street and Chinatown and I got a good tip about Union Square. So I'm about to go over there and play Batman and try to find my bike. Um, but yeah, it's, it's looking like it's pretty much gone because I can't imagine the police with everything going on uh, really going Nancy Drew for some dude's bike. So you can't keep a dog down. So I got another bike, which is pretty much my bike, just in the next version up and in like glossy red. Shit looks like something straight out of a Christmas movie. I gotta be honest, I'm not a fan of it. My bike was matte black. Like the shit just looked like, like if Batman had to, you know, uh, if the Batmobile got towed and he had to get a bike, it was 100% the bike he would have had. Um, but yeah, I got the new bike and it's nice. It's nice. It wasn't cheap, but it's nice and it gets the job done. And about 20 minutes after me purchasing this bike, I was going past the shop and I'm paranoid at this point. So any black bike I see, 
it's on site. I'm looking to see if it's my bike. And like I said, I'm ready to just jump at any black bike I see because I gotta imagine that this individual isn't the uh, smartest exactly because they got caught on camera um, taking the bike. But I'm looking at the shop because I see a bike that I think is mine. And I'm on the bike, I'm looking over and all I hear is some kid yell out, watch out. And as soon as he says that, boom, I get hit by a fucking car. Like I said, on everything I love, on my parents, this is not a joke. Um, literally like get hit by a car, fly up over it. I've gotten pretty well versed in falling at this point. So I hit this like Jackie Chan style tuck and roll. <laughs> And I'm like sitting on the floor, Hank's just laughing because this shit's that ridiculous. I'm like laying on the floor, like on my back. I just started laughing because I'm like, yo, what did I do? And I know I've done a lot, but what did I do to deserve this? Um, the individual hit me, did not have license, uh, license plate on his car. So he goes to peel off. One of the kids step in front of him um, and try to stop him. I gotta be honest, I was like, after the day I have him, if somebody's riding around, in 2020 without license plates, I gotta imagine they are with all the shits. So I am not interested in trying to take them to court or something. I'm fine, I'm completely intact. Uh, I don't think anything else can be broke besides my dignity at this point, which is pretty damaged and my ego is pretty bruised, but physically I'm great. Uh, but yeah, I got, I got hit by a car. Thank God the new bike is fine. Um, thank God I'm fine, you know what I mean? But. Yeah, man, today has been like the worst day ever. I'm really hoping all of this is like charging up and I'm gonna get like the best news ever. Like Jeff Bezos is gonna call me tomorrow and be like, yo, I'm thinking about ending world hunger. You wanna help me announce it on your show? Like that level of, of good, I, I gotta believe is coming my way. I'm gonna manifest it. I, I'm about to uh, manifest 200 uh, occasion because this shit is ridiculous. So, I did all this because I was talking to my agent and you know, he's my guy, like that guy is at this point family. And he let me know uh, as a friend, he's, um, he's here for me, but as an agent, he has to do his job. And he told me to tell this story at my expense. So worst day ever in New York City, probably my favorite place on earth, I'm not gonna lie. Like Philly is home and that's in my heart, but as far as the energy up here is just, it's great, um, but yeah, today's been pretty shitty, um, but funny at the same time. Anybody who knows me knows I'm planning a stand-up uh, or two uh, because I am a comedian. I'm just, I have the driest of humor, but this will definitely get its way worked in there. Um, to the dude who stole my bike, like I said, you caught me slipping. I really hope that I don't catch you doing the same. Um, I'm just kidding, I really hope I do. Uh, and to the guy who looked out from Trek with this amazing bike, appreciate you, thank you. And to the dude driving around with no license, hitting people, you know what I mean? Like, come on, man, come on. So, that's my spiel. Uh, ain't no intro, cause this ain't really part of one of my 18 shows or anything like that, I just, had to share this, so yeah, it's just I, I don't.